Good morning, Long Cane. I'm here to talk to you about something that's very important to me, and I hope it's very important to everybody. That is the, the U.S. United States Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign that they're having every single time this year. I know that you've seen the two Toys for Tot boxes that are outside the cafeteria because you walk by them each day. They are sadly almost empty of toys, and we have to change that. The Toys for Tots uh, campaign the Marine Corps wages every year has been going on for many years and they collect new and unwrapped toys and then they take those toys and they distribute them, they wrap them and distribute them to children in need in, this, in the community. And I think it's really important every Christmas for all children to get toys to unwrap. Uh, it's really sad thinking about a child at Christmas that, that has no toys. And we're going to do something about that. Long Cane has always been charitable. We've always uh, been giving and we've always supported uh, local community members who are having tough times. So what I'm asking you to do is go get a toy, a brand new and unwrapped toy. And these are the ones that I got and these are super cool. Look at this. This is a sharper image, remote control, 360 degree rally car. And it's a tumbler. That means it can like tumble upside down and it'll land back on its wheels. And it has actually a little remote control device in the back. And um, man, some kid is really going to enjoy this Christmas day getting this toy and getting outside and driving it all around and having fun. And I was really glad to be able to pick this up at Walmart and bring it and to put it in this, I'm going to put it in this box. And also, there is the, uh, the game that I'm sure a lot of y'all have played, Candyland. Uh, Candyland, uh, it says, who will be the first to reach King Candy's castle? I'm not real sure, but I'll bet you there's going to be, I hope, at least a couple of children out there that have fun Christmas Day playing this very game and have fun Christmas Day with this very car. And I want to challenge each of y'all to, you know, ask mom or dad when you're out at Walmart or wherever it is that you purchase toys, you don't have to get a super expensive one, but just get, you know, get a new toy and let's fill those boxes up and let's show everybody how Long Cane is concerned. Uh, and how we show our concern by helping those in need. Hope all of y'all have a super day, and let's fill those boxes up. My name is Aiden. Today I'm going to talk about weather. The wind is 6 miles per hour, and it's partly cloudy, and 63, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, and partly raining. My name is Cody, and for weather for tomorrow, yeah. Will be, it will be 51 Fahrenheit tomorrow, and it will have a chance to rain. Today is December 5th, and welcome back to Cougar Chat. We are happy to have you. We'd like to give a big shout out to our boys and girls basketball teams for their big wins last night against Auburn. The girls had a blowout victory with a 27 to six scoreline and boys pulled out a close win 30 to 28. Congratulations to all of our basketball players. The next game is Thursday at home versus Callaway. Continuing with our theme from yesterday, we have gift ideas for you this holiday season. Chloe and Ramsey have today's gift ideas under $50. Hey, I'm, my name is Chloe. And I'm Ramsey. And we're bringing you cool gifts under $50. My gift is nothing. <laughs> for people that have everything. You can buy this on Amazon for $12.31. The reason you should buy this is because when parents say, what do you want for Christmas? And you say, I don't know. Then they can get you nothing. <laughs> and my gift is a dock charging station. You can find this on Etsy for $46.20. This dock can charge your phone Hold your glasses and hold your watch and bracelet. They also have a place you can plug your charger into it and you can also get your name carved into it. Thank you. I always just say thank you. Thank you. Who says thank you? Thank you, girls. Keep an eye out tomorrow for even more gifts. Great gifts. Wrestlers also have a busy week. This week with meets tomorrow, Thursday, and Saturday. Tomorrow's meet is at 4.30 in Opelika. Today we have Jake and Sam to give us a sports update. Hey, my name's Jake, and I'll be talking about how the Steelers beat the Bengals and how Juju Smith, with a legal hit, knocks out Vantaz Burfecht. 
And um, as far as in, I'm Sam Corley, and as far as NCAA bas men's basketball goes, our top five are number one Duke, number two Kansas, number three Michigan State, number four Villanova, and number five Florida. And uh, Tennessee joined the rankings, Louisville exited the rankings, and Tennessee Tech is receiving many votes to join the rankings. Thank you, Jake and Sam. 4-H meets today after from 3.30 to 4.30. We'd also like to congratulate Akaya, Akaya Kimura, Sophia Pacelli, Chloe Matthews, and Gianna Pacelli for making the District 3 Honor Band, where they performed at LaGrange College on Sunday. Great work, girls. Dylan and Riley have a few updates on news from around Troop and LaGrange. I'm Riley Spradlin, and today's local news is Troop County School System financial officer name to state board. I'm Dylan Cohen. I'm doing the local news with um, Riley. And um, a LaGrange Fire Chief Robert Taylor retired after 30 years of our service. Thank you. Our two birthdays for today are include Joshua Scroggins. We all we all hope you have a great day. Like always, thanks for tuning in. Be cool, Long Kane. We leave you today with Bo and Beckham with this day, this day in, in history. I am Bo Dyes, and this is Beckham. Will. And we are doing Today in History. 1940, in 1945, aircraft squadron lost in the Bermuda Triangle. At, at, at 2.10 p.m., five U.S. Navy bombers compromised flight, flight 19, take off in Florida on a routine of three hours for a training mission. They never returned.